Hi guys. Um. Okay, so it's like. So I said last video that the next video is gonna be the one hundredth upload, but. Uh, YouTube counts shorts as uploads too, so this technically isn't the 100th video, but, so, today I'm just going to be doing a, a, a Lego build because I'm bored, we're going to be doing the Krusty Krab, except I'm just going to super glue the pieces in place because they're very loose and brittle and I want to be able to do what, you know, you, what you're supposed to do with Legos is play with them because, you know, fucking, Legos are cool, so, um, I'm just gonna, like, I'm just gonna, like, build them and, like, talk as I build them because I like Legos. So go ahead and in the comments, you can't even see what I'm doing. Hold on. Okay, yeah, that's better. So go ahead and leave in the comments, how was your day today, guys? What did you do? Me, personally, I worked, and work is dirk. It was my first shift back because I haven't worked in a while because I was sick and then I had a wedding and then I got sick again. So I also got to make sure that I'm like building it right and so I don't super glue it incorrectly and like I'm just cooked. Like I accidentally super glue too many bricks. Anyway, so leave in the comments how your day was today. My day was pretty fire. Work was kind of cool, I guess. I mean, actually, no, it wasn't cool. It was just boring. Work is work. But, um, let me know what you guys thought of, if you guys played it, that... Whew, damn, these bricks are dusty. I'm going to grab the dust. -er. The Persona 3 DLC. I think what I'll do is I'm going to give my thoughts on it and make that my commentary for this video. So, if you haven't played Persona 3 Reload, the answer... And you plan to just go ahead and mute me. Keep watching me build Legos though, because Legos are cool. But I'm just I'm just gonna get right into it. So I just I personally thought the ending was underwhelming. I'm gonna be honest. I just I feel like the lead up was cool. It's like fighting Shadow Makoto was kind of cool, but also like the whole party members they're gonna fight each other to the death. Is just super, super out of character. I feel like that just kind of came out of nowhere. Like, and I guess from what I've read online, which is already a good sign, people, like, blame that whole thing on Yukari. Which, like, kind of, but also what they don't realize is that she's just a teenager grieving. Because, I don't know, I, I really like Persona 3 Reload. But I don't know, I just... I, I know they added a lot of changes to make it bearable compared to the original. Or at least more bearable, I should say. But I'm just not a fan of Tartarus. I just... I don't like Tartarus. I think it's boring. And unfortunately, that's like... That's pretty much the entirety of the, of the DLC is all Tartarus. So... Oops. oops. But, um... Oh, well, not Tartarus, like the desert doors or whatever, but Menace is cool, I guess, but I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it's kind of like El Camino or like, again, I'm going to get into spoilers. So if you haven't played Persona 3, just you keep watching the video because I need the views. Just mute me. But I feel like it's, it's like El Camino where it doesn't like the ending of its, of their source, quote unquote source material is good enough. But it doesn't really need that extended ending. Where it, So it kind of just feels like all El Camino does is just confirm that Walter White died at the end of Breaking Bad. And like, Jesse's living free now. Even though he does in the finale of Breaking Bad when he escapes. But so I feel like after they solve the whole issue and, it, and it's finally April Fool's Day. Like, it's like, what did they gain? What did they learn? Like, they learned about each other's past and they moved to learn, move on. I mean, I guess this isn't all true because they explain why Makoto died. 
being that he used his, um, from my understanding, because I'm stupid, he used his life force to seal Nyx, and that, like, pretty much just drained him. However, he was pretty much dead when that happened, but he was still, like, remaining in a physical form because he made a promise to his friends to go see them on graduation day. So that's how he's able to like maintain a form. But like, I don't know, man. It's just like, oh my God, you guys can't even see what I'm building. It's just, I don't know. I just, it's like, yeah, I guess finds her meaning to life and whatnot, but I don't know. I feel like all it kind of does at the end of the day is just confirm that Makoto dies at the end of Persona 3 as if it isn't obvious enough, even though I had to Google it afterwards, because, but in my defense, when I, when I beat Persona 3, I was, it was, I was at like, it was 4.30 in the morning, so I do not remember a damn thing. Well, that's not true. I, I remember, I, I remember fighting Nyx. The thing is, I remember fighting Nyx, but then going into the ball, that's, uh, that's all just, like, blank to me. I don't know why I haven't gone back and refought Nyx since. That's kind of on me. But, I digress. I digress. Yeah, I guess I don't need to super glue these things. So, yeah, I just feel like, um... I don't really know what people think of the original. I feel, I what I've heard is that, like... Some people like it, some people clown on it, but, um, I don't know, I thought the whole spiel about wanting to go back or wanting to stay, it's just, like, because the thing is, Yukari wants to go back to see if she can save Makoto, which makes sense for her, and I feel like it's kind of out of character for Mitsuru to agree with her, but also, like, I feel like the only reason she did is because she just feels all that guilt for Yukari's dad because the Kurijo group is responsible for his death. I was I agreed with Akihiko and Ken that like there's no point in changing the past cuz it helps shape who you are. So like I feel like what they should have done is you should have chose somebody to agree with cuz then you would have a party of 4. And then there's and then there's Junpei and Koromaru where, like, they just, like, don't even, like, s explicitly say what they're fighting for. I feel like it's just, so it's like, hey, guys, look, yet now you have to fight them without, like, added context. I mean, like, it's, it, it's kind of cool, I guess, but also it's just, it just feels very forced and out of character. Like, they're so fast to want to resort to wanting to kill each other. But, I don't know, like, I feel like for me, if I was in their position, like, as heartbreaking as it is that Makoto died, ch you don't change the past. The past, ha despite how bad it is, the past happens for a reason, and it affects you and shapes who you into what you are. Like, I've had bad things in the past happen to me, but I wouldn't necessarily go back in time and change them because learning through those hardships helped to shape me into who I am today, which is Ratio Man. But, I don't know. And again, like, people will criticize, but, will criticize the actions of, like, Yukari, but they also have to realize, again, she's a teenager grieving, and people grieve in different ways. And, you know, you kind of have to respect that. Like, some people will laugh, some people will, like, you know, you just got to let them grieve. Everybody processes loss differently. But, I don't know, Metis is funny, I guess. I still really like Kanamata. I like, I mean, dude, any any kind of content that gives you more Junpei, I'm, I'm on board for. I just think $35 is a lot for just... But essentially is a second Tartarus. So, like I said, my suggestion would just be... 
just look it up on YouTube. Look up the story on YouTube. Save your money. Or just wait until it goes on sale. Because, quite frankly, it's a lot of money. But, again, different strokes for different folks. I just... And I'm not showing it. I'm, it's because there's not enough space on my desk. What I think is that they should next... So they did episode I guess. What I think they should do is episode Junpei. Where it's all about Junpei. Like, but the, I mean, but then again, I can't say it's it doesn't add anything. Because we do get, like, some more backstory to the characters. Which, again, could have been in the base game. But, like, dude, who... I didn't know Junpei's dad was a fucking alcoholic. Like, that was like, I was like, what? I mean, like, it's sad because like, Junpei. Ah, damn it. Junpei's like one of my favorite characters. And I know like a lot of people online. I mean, I was reading like a Twitter thread today, which, again, not a good idea. But they, I guess, there are people who don't like Yukari. Like, yeah, I initially thought she was a bitch because she's mean to Junpei. But Junpei's not perfect either. Like, when he sexualizes all the girls at the beach, I was like, what the fuck, bro? Those are your friends. But, I don't know. He's also just teenage boy. He's also just Junpei. Junpei Yori, Ace Detective. I do feel like there are a lot of instances, however, where Yukari is undoubtedly a bitch to him. For what seemingly is like no reason but again that's just that's just yukari I mean, like yeah i get it that they're friends and friends are like mean to each other but i feel like she just sometimes takes it to like a, a whole other level but the whole junpei and chidori plotline is amazing i just think that persona 3 is gonna be my my game of the year because I also didn't play too many other games. The other game I played this year was... Awful, I had to count. Yeah, the other game I played... The only other game I can think of that I played was... Um, Final Fantasy Rebirth. And there's a very long video. Well, not very long, but... A video you can go watch on my channel... If you want to know my thoughts on that game there. Pretty harsh, but, you know, it comes from a pa place of love of the original and disdain for the remake. But, I mean, it's still cool. I think, I just feel like within, like, over, like, the past few years, there's just been so many video game remakes coming out, like... The first one I can remember was, like, oh, I need to add a little bit more glue. Like, obviously, when Shadows of Valencia came out in 2017, like, because that's, like, a game where it was, like, you would never think that if they're, out of all the Fire Emblem games that they could remake, that they would remake Gaiden. Like, who could have seen that coming? Like, that just still blows my mind that Gaiden got a remake, and now people know who Alm was, because I was, like, one of, like, seven people who knew who Alm was before Shadows of Valencia, because, you know, just, uh, shy behavior, and playing Awakening Spot Pass, but, yeah, I think gaming remakes are cool, I would like to see a Persona 4 remake, since that's probably gonna happen before Persona 6 comes out, because Persona 6 probably isn't gonna come out, JK, uh, no, I think I think what I want to do is Over my winter break I want to play through Persona 4 Because that's the I was going to say that's the only Persona game I haven't played That is not true The only other Persona game I've played Aside from 3 or 5 So I'm kind of a Persona baby But also like I don't know, because I'm, I'm just a sucker for a good story Like why do you think I like Fire Emblem so much? But, I guess, um, I, I guess what I'm going to title this video is, like, I build Legos and talk about Persona 3 Reload the Answer. Because that's kind of what I'm doing. Because, I want to share my thoughts, but also it's like, 
don't know, all my friends who like Persona 3, all two of them, they've either not beaten Persona 3 or don't really care about the answer, which, fair. So, this is kind of like my only quote-unquote outlet to discuss it. But I, I would recommend Persona 3 Re Reload if you can get it for sale. I mean, it's not perfect, no. They, there's absolutely no excuse why Katone, female protagonist, wasn't included. Like, that's actually ridiculous. It's just laziness, but... If you can look past that, it's it's a great game. Why am I missing a piece? Or what do I have an extra? Oh, never mind. Let me just, yeah. Oh, I almost, I almost spilled the super glue. That would not have been good. I don't know. I, again, I'm super gluing this because I feel like with these old sets, they're they're a lot more brittle. They kind of don't hold in place as much, especially like with these brown pieces because brown Lego pieces are notorious for not being able to stand the test of time and breaking very easily. So. I just want to be extra careful. And because I would use this in stop motion, I think, like, it'd be funny if, like, Homelander went to the Krusty Krab for a stop motion video. And then we have these little chalices. So, I mean, I'm just about done with the build, so therefore, I, um, I will close out the video with my closing thoughts. I think the answer is good. I think it's worth playing if you're a Persona fan or you like the base game. Um, I would not say it's worth... Okay, look, I'll, I'll do this. I would not say it's worth um, $35 or $30 or whatever. I would say wait until it goes on sale. If you can get it for 20 that's a great price. I mean, there's definitely, like, you, you get a lot of content. Like, most people, it would take... 20 to 30 hours to beat but if you're a speedrunner like myself it only takes like nine hours but like you definitely get your bang for your buck but there's a lot of bucks but if you really only if you don't care about gameplay if you only care about story just play or just watch a like a story on youtube and there's nothing wrong with that that's what i tell my friends to do with certain fire emblem games if it's the telius games and they're too expensive or they don't have the time to get into it but yeah i guess closing thoughts is persona 3 good and i'm gonna kind of clickbait this video so yeah um i don't know i was just i had a free night to myself i wanted to make a video so i just thought i'd do this so um yeah thank you thank you all for watching uh i'll try to I'm trying to do weekly uploads. I don't know about... Uh, I can't do daily, but... I'll do my best to do weekly. So, yeah. I'll see you all in the next one. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.